here, animals. I'm only looking for things whose hides I can use. More specifically, I'm looking for wolves. But I can buy wolf pelts, so it's not a big deal. But what detected me? Something's detecting me, and I don't know what it is. Is it a... What? What is looking at me? Seriously, I'm a little concerned. Nah, screw it, I don't need... I don't need, uh, stealth to kill these guys, not with my gun. Come back here! Come back here! Well, apparently it does have the drop of the, uh... It's basically just a reskin crossbow, this musket, so I do have to take into account the drop of the round. It's diff very difficult to actually see the round itself, so you don't know if you've hit your target or not. Hmm. I don't know how many, uh, pelts I need, so I'm just gonna keep hunting everything I see. Hopefully I get enough pelts by the time this is over. This might take a little while, guys. So, um... I'm not quite sure if I just want to, you know, stop recording and record when there's something interesting going, or if you guys want to see the whole adventure and you want to see, you know, every aspect of it, rather than just me fighting and killing things. Because there's a lot more to Skyrim, especially with mods that add realism, and, uh, especially Frostfall, you actually have to go and get the pelts and all that to craft your survival shelter. Oh, the, uh, muscle flash isn't working anymore. Oh, there it is. It's a little bit buggy then, apparently. There we go. And the sound was a bit late. Oh well, doesn't matter. It's fine. May as well take everything off them. Carry weight, okay, I'm beneath 200, that's good. If you're beneath 100 carry weight, that's excellent. Like, if you're significantly beneath it. If you're beneath 200, that's okay. Sorry, if you're beneath um, 200 yet, yeah, that's okay. But if you're beneath 300, if you're 200 to 300, you should probably start considering getting rid of the heavy things that aren't very worth, you know, aren't worth a lot. There are a lot of things that are heavy and aren't worth that much to anyone. So it's a good idea to definitely get rid of those. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! I'm an excellent shot. Oh, since I have the archery perk, I can slow time. I can slow time down with this. So yeah, that should make. Um, oh shit! That should make hunting a little bit easier sometimes. Deer hide is good because it uh, it gets you several pelts and several bits of leather. So it's always a good thing to keep in mind. Oh, there's some mammoths over there. I don't think I want to go piss them off because then we have to deal with the mammoths and the giants. And they're pretty hard to kill, and I, even though I do have a gun, it's not a be-all and end-all. Especially the, the bullet I'm using, I've seen uh, higher level enemies just take a couple of these flintlock rifle rounds before going down. And considering that it does take a little bit of time to actually reload, a little bit more than a bow, since it is basically a reskinned crossbow, then it is not the best weapon to use, you know, uh, all the time. It's an excellent weapon to use if you get the drop on your enemy because the damage it does, coupled with, you know, the stealth bonus, is probably going to net you a one-hit kill or a very, very large reduction in the enemy's health. Not to mention that at this level, it pretty much outright kills things like mud crabs. Mind you, I probably could outright kill them with uh, my sword, but it's just much more fun to kill them with a gun. May as well take everything from them, because you never know. It might be worth a little bit to someone. Plus, I don't like killing things and not taking everything from them. Okay, let's see if I can hit him from here. Nah, aim too far to the, uh... To the right. I didn't count for the lead. I'm pretty sure the drop is identical to a crossbow. I'll be honest. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Where are you? Here, Elky, Elky, Elky. Don't tell me you're a ghost elk. There you are. Come on! Come here. Oh, too low. That was too low. Come here. He's gone. I'm not getting him. That's for sure. Wasted quite a bit of ammo on him. That's fine. Ammo is cheap. Oh, hello there. Oh, there we go. Sound and the deer killing played a little late. Deer hide, small antlers, venison bullet, normal. Uh, fox, fox pelt, definitely. 
Now, I can't remember exactly how many pelts I needed, so I'm just going to hunt everything. I'm going to head back, and I can always buy more pelts. I just think that it's much cheaper to, you know, get most of them yourself. Let's have a look at what I've got. Oh, I have to level up. Let's level up then. So, what do I want to... What do I want to remember? Health. It's a good one. Uh, you haven't actually seen the benefits of my new uh, character. This is pretty much identical to my character from... Uh, my casual file, my Ashen casual file. The Ashen have a really good regenerative ability. They're basically the same as everyone else in combat, but outside they regen the fastest I've seen. That doesn't necessarily mean they are the fastest, I've just... I have never really paid attention, so... Come on, come on, Foxy. There you go. That's how most hunters do it, they chase the thing while shooting at it. Like, pretty much right on its heels, and then shoot it at that sort of distance. That's exactly how it does it. I'm a, I'm a master hunter, everybody. I'm hunting with a gun in Skyrim when everyone uses bows, and occasionally people use crossbows. The only reason I'm even able to make a crossbow now, not a crossbow, a uh, flintlock rifle now, is because, well, I gave myself all the perks at the start, and uh, one of those perks is the steel smithing perk, which is required to make this gun. So, it's, it's not the most out-of-your-way thing to do. If you don't want to, you know, work on smithing at all, that's perfectly fine. But... A crossbow will probably do fine for you. Just put like one perk in smithing. I think you can get steel smith smithing perk right off the bat, regardless of what your uh, character is. I think it all starts at like 20 or 15. I'm not quite sure, but if you can't get the steel smithing, sorry, why do I keep saying smithing? Smithing perk right off the bat, and with a little bit of effort, and I mean literally a little bit of effort, a little bit of smithing, and you'll be able to actually get it, and you can build yourself a rifle. You can build yourself all the awesome weapons I have in Jasus's, I think that's how you say it, swords. Uh, it's, it's always a good uh, idea to get um, steel smithing. It's, it's a very good one. Whether or not you guys can hear it, if there's that little um, reverberating uh, noise, I, I apologize very much so for that. Okay, let's see what I need to do. So, first of all, I'm going to want to get myself a, um, definitely a hide tent, because I need something to keep myself warm in snowy things. Uh, that requires six clean pelts and two leather. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm pretty sure I can get two leather right now. Yep, two leather, deer hide. So now I just need to go and use my survival skills to craft myself some cleaned pelts. Craft item. No, it's in hide, isn't it? No, it's in misc. Okay, clean pelt. Fox pelt. Two. Fox pelt. Yep, there we go. Pelt. So that's two, that makes it three. Uh, I do have to have one more than, than I need, so... Okay, so that we go down to misc. Small high tent with a bedroll. Voila! I now have a small high tent and a bedroll, which is good. Now I can camp in cold areas, because high tent keeps in warmth while leather tent is waterproof, but doesn't, isn't very warm. Okay, so now I need lots of leather, basically. I could probably buy a bit of leather with the gold I've got. But what I do need is I'm going to need some wolf pelts. I think it's four wolf pelts. I can't use that for my, um... I've got Ice Wolf Pelt. Um, shit. I don't have enough for a backpack. Hmm, interesting. I also, or a Saber Cat Pelt, but those are even rarer. Do come back. You know, I really don't want to have to go out looking for um, Wolf Pelts, and that's going to take me a lot of time, which is going to be taken away from... You know, you guys seen some really awesome stuff. So I'm going to do, and please forgive me for this, I'm going to cheat in four wolf pelts. Just four, and that is like the only time that I'm actually going to do it. Because I don't, I don't like cheating, it does cheapen the experience somewhat, but that's my opinion. Sometimes I do agree that wolf, sorry, that not wolf pelt is useful. Cheating is just much easier and does take away a lot of the stress sometimes. Then again, if you want to cheat, it's up to you. D, seven, four, four. Wolf pelt four added. Okay. 
Now, I can buy the leather and leather strips that I need, which is good. Hopefully I can buy enough, and if I can't, I can always go back to Bellathor back there, because I've no doubt he'll sell leather as well. I'm pretty sure he did. Oh, pardon me. Got some good pieces out here if you're no, she doesn't need any help around the forge. Blade, Let's see. Helmets, pretty much uh, any what do I need? What do I need? Uh, leather. Let's buy all of that leather. All of those leather strips. Don't and let's go to here to the tanning rack. Misk. Small leather tent. I actually have enough. I also have... Oh, I only needed two wolf pelts. That's fine. I could always sell these wolf pelts and earn a bit of money for free, but I'm not cheating like that. So instead I'm going to go to my dumping ground down here and dump those wolf pelts. There's those wolf pelts. There it is. Because I don't cheat. At least if I do, I don't try and... Uh, unfairly cheat. I only cheat for good reasons. So, let's see, I've crafted... Oh yeah, I can uh, add a, um, a amulet to the backpack, which I don't want to do. Did I actually craft the leather tent? I'm, I can't remember if I did. No, I did not. Okay, let's craft it. Okay. Small leather tent, bedroll. Beautiful. I don't need two times bedroll, because I, I, I roll alone, bitches. Alright, so now we want to go to apparel, backpack, black fur. Now the cool thing about this is, this actually has on it the things that you actually have in your inventory. For example, it has a torch, it has the woodcutter's axe, it has the bedroll, and as you will see if I go to my carrying capacity, it's now 355, which is pretty good. Um, I also have a tent that will let me survive. Now I should probably go and offload all of the stuff I don't need. Have you met my father? Take a look. I can actually hear things really crisp when I like when I touch when I rub my microphone I can hear a sort of, you know I, I can't even describe the sound. It's it's sort of weird, but I can actually hear things in great detail of what's actually going on on this phone, not this phone, this headphones, which is kind of weird. Maybe it's just because it's transmitting the sound through itself. I hope that doesn't actually affect you guys and the, uh, the actual, you know, recording. Alright, so let's just sell all these ebony ingots, which I, um, uh, no, I didn't need those ebony ingots, did I? No, I didn't. I got those from the sanctuary. Deer hide, don't need that. Iron ingot, don't need that. Leather, don't need that. Leather strips, don't need that. Clean pelt, don't need that. Uh, or a chalcum ingot. Nope, don't need that. Don't need that. You see, that is um, an interesting thing. I, do, I don't need it, but I do want it. I'll keep it. I have it, so I may as well use it. Pickaxe. Uh, I always get more of those later. Don't need the ancient Nord arrows. Oh, no, I don't want to sell the bullets. They're good. Alright, guys. So now, we can get going. Uh, once again, adjusting seat to get comfortable. Ignore the creaky chair. I've got two of them and both of them are creaky, which is an absolute shame, so that's not something I can fix really easily. Ugh. It wasn't too difficult to get a new headphone. Sorry, a new set of headphones, but... Headphones. Sorry, I heard that noise again when I said headphones. So I was just wondering if it's maybe just that. No, it, there it is again. I don't know if you guys are hearing that, or maybe I'm just going crazy. Alright, so what am I doing? Um, oh yes, journal. Way of the Voice speaks to the Greybeards. Also, I've picked up that I like the time scale at 15, because I think 10 is, um... I think 10 is a little bit too slow, but 20 is a bit too fast, so I compromise and go 15. That basically means that one minute in real life is 15 minutes in Skyrim, so four minutes in real life is one hour in Skyrim, because, you know, it's 15 minutes, so 15 is a quarter of an hour. I help my good. father in more ways than people do. Alright, so let us go out into the wide world of Skyrim. Alright, so where are we going? Okay, let's go to the map. We are going there, to Iverstead. That's actually not the place you go to speak to the Greybeards. The Greybeards are actually up there in High Rothgar. Uh, but that is a stop on the way. So, how do we get there? We are here, out by right run. There's a road that crosses the river, goes around the mountain, and then there are a couple of roads that go up to Iverstead. 
And then there's a road on Iverstad, which apparently goes up the mountain. It's kind of difficult to see. And maybe it isn't even a road at certain points, but rather just a path. So definitely going to head there. So how do I head to Iverstead? I'm going to have to go uh, down this road. This is going to be so much easier if I go on Wobbins. It's just going to be so much faster. Come Wobbins! I request your fuzzy dovey, fuzzy, yeah, fuzzy dovey lovey cuteness. Here we go. My awesome looking Wobbins with glowing red eyes. My sister, she, uh, I, I gave her my Skyrim folder. Don't tell anyone. And, um, <laughs> And she uh, used Wobbins as well, and she likes the white version, which is pretty cool. There's like three versions of Wobbins, if you haven't already noticed. There's the Shadow Mirror version, like I'm using, there's the regular black version, and there's the uh, Palomino white version, which is pretty good. Alright, so I just follow this road, I go across the river, and I just keep following the main road until I get to a couple of intersections. <laughs> Sorry, that's something my nose. It tickles whenever I breathe out. So basically just keep going this direction. Just follow the road. And with my gun I can shoot things on horseback. Die! I could have shot that chicken and then run away with it. Let's quick save. And shoot a guard. I missed. How could I miss? See? This is what I mean. This uh, gun, it is powerful, don't get me wrong. It's very powerful and it can take down most people. But people like White Run Guards, or any guard for that matter, who are actually really heavily armoured, surprisingly so, uh, they're hard to kill, even with the gun. Hello there. Oh. I don't know why this guy is trying to attack me. Care to explain yourself? Shot him on horseback. <laughs> Once again, the sound didn't play. This is a mod, so you know, you can't expect it to be absolute 100% Bethesda quality. It is made by the community. It's a good one. Ooh, leather armor. Take that. Oh, there we go. The sound finally played a bit too late. Apparel, leather armor. Okay, it may not be the best looking thing, but it definitely looks better than Imperial armor, and at least now I don't look like an Imperial scout. So I don't have to worry about going up to. Stormcloak camps and them saying, You look like an Imperial, we're going to kill you. Because you look like an Imperial, not because you are one. Die wolf. And run. That's it. I'm not going to kill you both. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'm going to leave you alive so you can see that your friend is dead and that you will be alone. I'm sadistic, guys. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm evil. Anyway, there's a standing stone up here. May as well go discover it. It might have a good bonus. Let's uh, do that. So standing stones usually, from my experience, have some pretty nasty people on them. Aha! I rest my case. I missed, so I better swap the sword. Huh. One hit kill? One hit kill. Brilliant. Now where did her body go? That's the thing I don't like about the uh, OP sword or my OP skill, oh there it is, is that it knocks bodies really far, especially the bow. Like seriously, you, you hit something, you, like you hit a deer and it goes 50 feet. I'm, I'm not American, or I don't use the Imperial system, but it, that's that's exactly like how far it goes. Oh, no, I um used the ritual stone, so now I can apparently resurrect one body a day. Body a day keeps the doctor away. Wait a second, that doesn't sound right. Ha ha ha, wrong, it isn't right. Wobbums! Oh, oh, there you are. I'm sorry, Wobbums, I thought you'd left me. Eh, yeah, we just continue along the road. La di da di da, di da di da di da, di di da di da di da, di da di da di da di da di da. You know, if I wasn't, um, if I hadn't already used Skyrim earlier, sorry, not Skyrim, if I hadn't already used Wobbums earlier on in this series, I would be walking the whole way. It's much more atmospheric to walk and actually have to camp, you know, using your tents and using all that survival gear you've got on your back, than actually, you know, just ride everywhere on your horse that can sprint forever. And Wobbums can sprint forever, I've tested it. 
Oh, hi there. How's it going? And now we run. <laughs> 